Hello, welcome to another Switch review with Talky Doki, and today we have the Prevail Epsilon Linear Switches. Um, again, this review is powered by Squishy Types. I do get a lot of my switches from Squishy Types. Awesome customer service. Okay. Um, let's start with the final thoughts and conclusion for these switches. So for those of you who don't have that much time to watch the whole video, I will give you my final thoughts and conclusion. I do hope you like and subscribe and support this channel. Um, to keep this channel growing, um, I'm a busy person but I really enjoy doing this so I really appreciate the support. And again, for those who want to watch the whole video, I will be diving into much more details. But for now, let's start with the conclusion. These are awesome linear switches. They are very, very good. I will rank them among the top linear switches that I have tried this year. Um, I will rank them among one of the top linear switches that I have tried this year. It sounds really good. It's very smooth. And this is stock. Alright, that's how good this is, guys. This is stock. These are one of the very few switches that I would use in its stock form. I wouldn't even bother opening and lubing up these switches most of my switches i have to use them lube and to be honest this is the first one that i encountered that i felt like i don't have to lube it that's how good it is so if you're the type of guy who doesn't want to lube his switches his or her switches then the prevail epsilons might be the switch for you the sound profile is more on the deeper side of the spectrum so it's on the deeper fox but what is good with this switches is that even though it's on the deeper side it's not muted it's really loud so for those who don't want clacky switches but want their switches to be lively and not boring the epsilons might be the one for you so that is the general sound profile of the epsilons it's it's deep it's Foggy, it's loud. The typing feel is very unique as well because of the springs, and I really love it. I love the feeling of the downstroke and the upstroke, and I love the sound of the downstroke and the upstroke as well. Only thing is, this might not be for everyone for two reasons. Number one, the price, it's kind of expensive, and number two, the springs are fairly heavy. So it's around 68 grams. Um, my sweet spot would be around 62 to 65 grams. So 68 is a bit heavy. Um, at first, it felt a bit tiring, uh, but after 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 a few days of using them, my fingers kind of got used to them, and um, after that, it was okay. So that's my conclusion. Uh, very good switches. You don't have to lube them. Very smooth, sounds deep and loud. I love the sound profile. I love the spring, the feeling of the springs. Um, it's a bit expensive. The spring weight might not be good for some people, but for me, it's good. And uh, that's it. If you're on the verge, on the edge, whether to buy these or not, and you like the sound profile, you like heavier springs, then go for it. You won't regret it. One of the best switches I've tried this year. I would put it to probably number one or number two. So that's my final thoughts and conclusion. Let's now proceed to the in-depth review and comparison and as well as sound tests for these switches. So quick specs on the Prevail Epsilons, it's a full bright orange colored nylon housing which really looks good personally for me but it might affect your keyboard setup if you do run your RGB lightings. It will definitely turn them into a orange hue or some sort of like that. Um, 
the stem is similar to the rock palm stem so it's a palm stem it's a long pole stem which gives you that very pleasant bottom out sound which is a love or hate relationship so sometimes you love it sometimes you don't i personally i love i love the the sound of uh, your long pole stems the springs are very special these are long springs that are progressive meaning as you go deeper into the key press to the keystroke it becomes heavier so the first part of your press is lighter and then it becomes heavier as you go down and these are long springs which feel really good important to note is that the upper part of the spring is coiled more tightly as you can see there's a tighter coil as compared to the bottom part and you have to orient it properly when putting it back otherwise you will mess up the feeling of this progressive spring so the the more coiled portion the more coiled portion should be the one on the top so this is the proper orientation when you put your epsilons back together All right so again i'm just stating this out for the sake of it because i don't think you have to ever open up these switches i don't think you need to loop them they are really good stock i use them stock so let's now go to the switch comparison i will be comparing them with my favorite linear switches on the high tier classification these are not budget switches i won't bother comparing them with the budget options it doesn't mean that budget options are not good gatron milky pro yellow is still one of my go-to and favorite switches but it would be unfair to compare them as these switches are on a very different level the price itself sets them apart so we won't discuss the pricing since these are very similarly priced let's go to the sound profile the Zakus, one of my favorite switches, are very clacky. The Zakus are very clacky. So among the four, this might be the clackiest. Followed by the Duroc Palms, one of my favorite, one of my favorite linear switches, the Duroc Palms. So it's still on the clacky end, but it is less clacky than the Zakus. The Epsilons and the Oil Kings are on the thockier spectrum. But between the two, the Oil Kings is on the deeper Thox and the Epsilons is a little bit more clocky, if, if that makes sense. So, clackiest, deepest or thockiest, alright? In terms of loudness, definitely the Zakus are the loudest. These are very loud switches. Uh, these, in terms of in terms of loudness, definitely the Zakus are the loudest. Uh, these are very loud switches. It wakes up my daughter when she's sleeping at night and I'm doing my typing tests. Um, the Epsilon comes in next. Also very loud switches. And the Duroc Palms and Oil Kings, probably, probably around here. So again, these are, these are subjective information that I'm giving out to you based on my personal experience and preference right uh smoothness very important the smoothness um the oil kings are smooth you can use them you can use them unlube or in stock form but i do feel that the epsilons are smoother the zakus and the palms um probably on the same level of smoothness after lubing so these is stock stock these are both lube so after lubing they would probably be on the same level then again all of these four switches are really smooth all of these four switches are really good you can't go wrong with them it's just a matter of preference it's just a matter of sound profile that you want and the typing feel that you want okay heaviest would be the epsilon feels very heavy followed by the oil kings the Duroc Palm and the Zakus, they're around 65 if I'm not mistaken, 65 grams. So I love typing with the two, it doesn't feel tiring. The Epsilons and the Gatron Oil Kings, they do need some getting used to. 
So that's my Switch comparison.